Maybe you saw the last onboard compressor video. It's been working perfect, but I wanted to make an updated version with a color display. So we're going to take a look at it now. I also wanted to try using a different type of compressor. The one I'm using here is a compressor built into a one gallon tank. It's actually made for like truck horn air systems, but it'll pump up to, well, the switch built into it stops it at 90 pounds, but you could put a different switch, plug that, remove the switch altogether. Um, the pump is supposed to go up to around 150. Some of the fittings are a little odd. They use like British standard threads or something. They're like 55 degrees instead of 60 degrees that would be used on an MPT thread, something like that. So I've uh, been able to find a bunch of adapters for this fitting so you can just run regular NPT in here. As far as the display controller, I wanted to use one of these round color touchscreen displays. They have a built-in ESP32 chip. Um, they have enough GPIO ports to do what I need to do for this and they come with a nice aluminum case and the wiring is pretty manageable. It looks like this. Um, it should be pretty easy to mount in a cab or wherever you want to mount it. So that's the main difference between the last system I built and this new one. Here's what it looks like all together. I put all the circuitry in a 3D printed box that's mounted to the tank. It contains a 12 to 5 volt converter, two relays, uh, some terminals, a few diodes for power management. The uh, relays control the pump and vent on and off. There's a pressure transmitter that inputs to the controller and a pressure um, switch and solenoid for the vent is here on the output piping. It's all controlled by the touchscreen display. It really basically just has two cables that need to be run. One cable is just for the communication between the controller display and the compressor unit wherever you, so it would go from like the cab of your truck to wherever you're uh, mounting this unit. So the other cable is just your 12 volt power. So you would just need to run the appropriate gauge wire from the power to the compressor here. Here's a look at how it works. You can see it boots up pretty quickly. The piping configuration could be better, but it's I was using the I was using the components I had on hand and it, it works fine for me. But after I did it, I kind of wanted to change it a little bit, but it works fine. It's going to fit right where I'm going to mount it, so it's no problem. But perhaps you have some other ideas that would work better. As soon as it boots up, like if you turn on your car or applied power or whatever, it's going to turn on in the off position. This only shows you the current pressure in the tank. Now when you long hold, touch the face, it'll um, turn the unit on. And when you do that, it will automatically set the set point to the current reading so that it doesn't automatically start draining the tank or kicking on the compressor. It makes it easy to control. So you just press along the scale to change it, to change the set point to whatever you want. Let's see, it just set it to 33 PSI. Alright, looks like it took about, I don't know, 30 seconds to get to 33 PSI. It's not too fast, but it's fine for the airbags. I think the battery I'm using is getting a little low too. I've been doing this test on and off. on the display here you can see like when you're in the cab you probably can't hear it not depending on where you mount it you probably won't be able to hear it so the display has a little indication of when the pump is running uh, the pump disappears when it's reached its set point and then when it's venting off it shows a little green indicator and you couldn't just leave it on to maintain the pressure if you want it or once you reach your pressure you can turn it off and it'll just uh, hold that pressure if you've got a good seal on all your lines and then you can just monitor and see what the current pressure is at. I was trying to make the system just as DIY as possible so 
what I plan on doing is just uh, um, selling the displays that are pre-programmed with the program I wrote. That'll come with a schematic for the system. Now this one here is the uh, first one I made with this new components and it has all the components in the junction box. Once I tested it and made sure it was all working pretty good then I made a circuit board that contains all the components. It's a little bit smaller package, a lot easier to wire. I'll uh, offer those also for sale for people that don't want to do the circuitry themselves. And this junction box here is just attached with pipe straps onto the body of the tank. Seemed like the easiest way to mount it and most foolproof. The compressor is not super loud in person. It sounds like most of the little compressors, some of them are much quieter, but uh, well, compared to anything you're going to get off the shelf for an onboard compressor, this is pretty good. You can easily make this for less than 200 bucks. Anything with this type of control, you're going to get for more like 500 bucks. And this isn't just on and off like a lot of them are. It's pressure control. And it has a small amount of storage, which for the airbags, it just gives it a little bit more volume to compress, so it makes it a little bit smoother of a ride. I think a few have an app you can control it with. This, I could have programmed this to do the same, but I just didn't see the need. If I can do it from the dashboard of my truck, I don't know why I would want to use an app. So I'm just going to mount to the dash. It'd be good enough for me. Let me know your thoughts down below if you think a phone app would be worthwhile. Well, sorry, the camera died. Now I'm using my phone, but uh, I'll show you what I was doing here. So I got this uh, other one just all thrown together here. You can see the vent solenoid and compressor wired into the circuit board. The pressure transducer is wired up and I just got to plug it in here. The control module is wired in and the power I'm just going to connect it to this battery. It does pull a bit of amperage. I was using a power supply before, just electronic power supply, but it goes right over 10 amps sometimes and so it will kick off my power supply so battery just makes it easier. Alright let's see how it works. You can see when it's switched off it stops the compressor and displays the live pressure value. And as you can see when I bleed it off uh, you can still see the pressure. The circuit board makes it pretty easy to mount but I'll, I'll still uh, give a schematic for the component version if anybody just wants to build it themselves and uh, maybe they have some different ideas they want to incorporate, who knows. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll leave some links as to where you can get the components I used for this and the parts that uh, are specialized that I'll be selling. I did use a Viver tank for this. They didn't want to give me any kind of discount or any kind of deal. I bought all these components myself. So I've got a lot of extra parts that I had to buy just to get the first one made. So really I'm not trying to make a bunch of money off these. I'm just trying to recoup a little bit from the R&D that went into it. But I did. I am using the Viver compressor and tank. It seems to work pretty good, but I don't have any affiliation with them. But I do have some affiliate links for where you can buy it.